Good morning everyone. Today is cold. Um, we're going to go fishing on this here boat right here. And we're probably going to do a catch and cook. I, know, I don't know what kind of fish we're going to cook up. But we're going to catch something and we're going to cook it on an island. Should be a lot of fun. See you on the water. secluded out of this open wind area Let's see at spot two okay we just arrived at spot numero dos you know, pretty good with my Spanish this morning <laughs> okay spot number two bust we are gonna go to spot number three now and here it is oh spot four three Spot three. made it spot one is a bust spot two is a bust spot three is a bust pull up to the island hopefully we're about to go uh, do, uh, what's it called a cast net cast net so it's just oh jesus christ Drew. some fish uh, maybe cook them up on the island probably gonna be some little sand perch or something know, maybe a mullet maybe a lady fish i know we're not gonna be eating lady or mullet fish uh, I want to go spear some snook and then go have a no, oh, stop, yeah. stop. Stop. This is the absolute most crap conditions you'd ever want to fish in right now. It's freezing, the tide's headed out, and it's already a low tide. And there's no fish. And we're stuck. And we're stuck. <laughs> well, I'm going to go cast net something. Hopefully something edible. He gets, yeah, he turns into some sort of villain when he eats fish. I don't know. I never really did it. Uh, I eat fish. I, I love fish. I know probably fish. So hopefully we'll get that. And uh, when we do, we'll see you all there. In transit to our cast netting spot. We're going pretty slow, as you can see. You got anything to say, Drew? It's cold. It's shallow. I just can't wait to get this fire started. Warm up a little bit. Ah, uh, God, me too. If you're liking this video, drop a freaking thumbs up on it and comment and subscribe and do it. No. Honestly, when YouTubers say all that stuff, I'm always, sometimes it's, it reminds me to like the video. I'll like go to, oh, like it. I'm like, huh, it actually worked. I'm like, I, I didn't think it would actually work, but it actually got me to like the video. But like the video, don't like the video. As long as you enjoy the video, that's all that really matters, right? I'd say so. Well, we'll see you uh, when we're casting it. Those Florida boys are shaking more than a dog trying to poop a peach seed, huh? <laughs> Alright guys, so I guess we'll see you when we're in the canals. 
catching, you know, bountiful, plentiful uh, bounce of fish and just living a beautiful life, you know. I right, see it. Honestly. Honestly, something. Something that's in the water swimming around, legal in seasons, fine by me. Glass 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 Get him, get him, get him. Okay, okay, it's okay. Is this so glass Alright. Cutting it. Alright, it's open. It's good enough for me. Reverse? Uh, no, just keep going. Alright. I have to turn it to the left. Turn to the right? Left. Left. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong way. Oh, oh wrong, wrong way. Wrong way. <laughs> Ooh, sandwich. Really? That's all sandwich. <gasps> we gotta call this one. Oh, what are they at? Oh, my lord, look at that. I'll eat one right now. Dude, yeah, I know, I've seen that. I've seen that. <gasps> Okay, that's our, that's our lunch. <laughs> All right, you get the right flank and I'll get the what quarter amount. Sweet. Oh, just wait, just wait. Right there, right there, right there. Good enough. All right. Um, I'm gonna go. No, no, just keep going forward. Keep going forward. Oh. Oh. All right, left, 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 left. Oh, what is oh, that? Is that a snook? Oh. Uh oh. Well, we'll get him out. Oh! Big snook! Oh, that's a nice size snook. They're all snook. Are they? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god. You wanna drop the power poles? Yeah. God. That sucks. That really does. I wish we caught him. There's nothing in there other look than this. Look at all the mullets sort of like this. There's nothing. Oh my god, look at him. Oh, snook. You want a picture of any of them? <laughs> no. You netted him. Dude, what? One, two, three, four, five, six snook. That's a nice, that's, that's almost like, like a, plus that's inches. like a slot snook almost right there. Yeah. Oh, we got seven. We got seven snook. Not one other fish of the species. Oh, we may have a fun time with this. Yeah, they got nice skills too. Yeah, they do. Oh, there we go. That's a nice snook right there. And, um, yeah, that's what we got. It's probably 24 inches. Now we got 22 to 24, yeah. Wanna get underwater bit? Dang. <laughs> we're, trying, we're, we're trying to get some mullet, man. <laughs> we're trying to catch crappy fish. <laughs> we pull up six snook and we're like, dang it! <laughs> Why is our luck so bad? Uh, you wanna just throw it? Cool. Yep. Oh, that that's fast. <sighs> Mullet. Mullet. Thank God. Yeah. Good, good. Thank God, that's a good size mullet. All right, we just caught our um, our lunch. We got one mullet in the boat. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of mullet. That's a mullet. I know. <laughs> that would be funny. Make sure, make sure you keep your oceans clean. Okay. Flyers. Oh man. Save the sea turtles, guys. Three fish in a boat. One fish is big. One 
fish this big and one fish a little bit bigger. I can't do it with one hand. Uh, we're on the way to camp. Yeah, I know. We're on the way to camp. Go cook up on some fish. Go on up make some fish. Oh, we'll see you when we're there. Pulling up to our spot of cook. Called a little island called Goat Island. Don't come finding me now. <laughs> the only reason we're going here and not the beach is because tide's going out. We don't really feel like getting our feet wet going up to the beach. But here it is. We're here. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. Just to show y'all what we go through to film. A simple catch of it. We got two logs stacked up here. Two different logs that we're gonna be setting the tripod up so y'all can watch me. So I hope y'all enjoy. While he's going to get the fire started so we can cook up this beautiful scrumptious mullet mm. with our flint and steel. <laughs> our, 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 our magmar. Get a good grip on that. Ooh, yeah. Nice. Alrighty, see you when it's finished. Now, a Hawaiian mullet usually isn't recommended. Butterflying it, smoking it usually is, but we're just going to do it. Never forget also to get the head meat. Well, I guess we should scale it before we get going. The sharp knife is the key to honestly just cleaning a fish. You got a sharp knife, half the job's already done for you. Flip it over and do the same thing to the other side. Let's do this. Sleeves are up now, we're serious. Now, although this is mullet, it's it's fresh from the bay, so or I should say the river. I mean so it's mullet, it's mullet, you know, it's meat. It's not my first choice of fish to eat. When you're cleaning the fish, my, my preferred method is... Just follow the backbone down. You feel it just glide against the backbone. Like I said, a nice, sharp, smooth knife is the key to doing this. Take your thumb, put it under, and just glide on the backbone. You'll feel your knife right on it. Wire's not working. <laughs> really? I was, I was gonna say, I was gonna. Oh, oh. All, right, all, right. all right, get palm fronds. Dead palm fronds? Yeah. Get a whole bunch of tinder already built up, like little piles. Yeah, if we don't get a fire, I'm gonna take this knife and I'm gonna kill Drew. No, I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. I've known Drew since sixth grade. We used to hang out quite a bit. Like I said, a sharp knife is the key, the key to any, clean, cleaning any, cleaning a deer, cleaning a turtle, cleaning a, a boar, cleaning anything. A sharp knife is just essential. And yeah, I've cleaned plenty of stuff with dull knives, but you're not going to get a fillet as pretty as that with a dull knife. that back run out. Come up on it. Bingo bango, you got yourself two fillets. Come back through right there. Bango bango. Here's your fish. Don't forget the cheek meat. No, Alright, now let's go take these fillets, clean them off in the water, and then we'll cook them. Laying the fish, they got this nice fire started. Yeah. Hi. Okay. Now we are going to prepare the fish for the cooking. First, Lowry's. The Lowry's. Get some Lowry's. Uh, show them the show them the brand. Lowry's seasoned salt. You know, traditional seasoning salt. 
Now we just sprinkle that on there. Yeah, we don't be afraid, you know, go a little bit overboard on it. Yeah. It's mullet, you know. It's supposed to be a little okay. salty. Now we do that. Now we got some old bay. You can't go wrong with some old bay. Sprinkle a little bit of old bay on there. Sprinkle a lot of bit of old bay on there. Mm. Okay. Now we're gonna get this. Damn lemon! <laughs> it's a green lemon. Get our hair knife. You just wanna do nice thin slices. This is a lime. It's a green lemon. <laughs> Once you got your slices there, you want to lay them on your fish, nice and Nice easy. and presentable. Nice. Have you ever seen the trick where you, uh, here, take the knife real quick, and then just cut halfway down from it? Just don't cut, no, not the whole thing, just, just from the halfway point of the, of, the, of the green lemon. And then you can twist the lime, and it, you know, gives a much better presentation, and then you put it on the fish, and it's just, you know, you got to cut all the way through it, though. And then you can kind of just lay it on the fish, and it's it's awfully nice. Well, you know it's it's mullet. It, screw it. <laughs> Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. And you just want to do that. Right. Now you want to get your here butter that we drop in the dirt. Eh, a little bit of dirt butter never hurt anybody. You want to thin. You want to slice that up real nice. Put that with your fish. <laughs> Just like that. Okay. Now, squeeze it. Squeeze. A little bit of that on there. Get all that lime you can on there. Lime's the best. There we go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, Hill. Yeah, you always got to make sure it's nice and sealed. You don't want any juices leaking out. Yeah. Now you got yourself a little fish meat. She's ready for the fire. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we're gonna put the fish on the fire now. Nice fish empanada, right? Is that the word? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't quite think so. Burrito? Uh, well, there's no tortilla. Um, I'd say just uh, baked fish. Baked fish. Baked fish. <laughs> Take the fish off. I think it's done. It's been about 15 ish minutes. It is. It smells like fish. Yeah, I'd say it does. My spork. <laughs> Oh, it's 
see here if this just falls off the boat. Oh yeah, I'd say so. Let's see if we got ourselves some fish. You know what, for malt, that's pretty gosh darn good. Is it good? Yeah, it's really good actually. Like that does not taste like mullet at all. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. Boneless, scaled, fillet. That's pretty good. Nice. We're gonna eat this, and we'll show you what it looks like when we're done eating. Oh yeah. And the end product while I still have fish in my teeth, is an empty piece of tinfoil. Right, I think that wraps it up for our day, guys. Although we didn't catch much, it was still a fun day. So if you want to go ahead and drop a like or do whatever you feel like doing, wherever up there, sideways, left, right, up, down, you know. All right, y'all have a great day and stay fishing.